180. We should be turning. Hey guys, it's Kraus. Welcome back everybody to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. So the previous episode, the first one I did, got flagged by YouTube for not being advertiser friendly, right? And it piqued my interest. Are there any sexy curves in this game? Or is it just that we need to pick cars with less sexy curves? I just don't know. But honestly, it piqued my interest, right? Not the sexy curves, but the game itself. I want to see what else we can do with it. So we did get this car in the previous episode. It's a beautiful uh, blue car. Uh, cyan, maybe even you would call it. The problem with this guy, we have no clue what's wrong. So, what I want to do, I guess we're gonna move this guy. Uh, let me see here. Where did you move it? Move the car, and we're gonna move it to car lifter A. And then, as a professional, I'm gonna move to it, and I'm gonna pop the hood. We're gonna see what's wrong with it. Do we see anything wrong with it? Let me just here. Open it up. It looks good to me. Uh, oh, maybe that little. Is that a spark plug type of deal? Let's see here. You did look a little bit beat up. That might be a part. Everybody, we're onto something. Let me just hear part. No, not, not mount. Uh, examine mode. Let's. That is ignition coil. I gotta say, I think that is broken. That little part over here. Something is not right with this part. And since I don't have like something called ODB scanner, I'm gonna remove it. And I'm gonna see if that is a faulty part. Okay, ignition coil. <laughs> we found one part. Maybe that's not the right ignition coil, however. But that was a part which was a little bit beat up. I do see something else here. Nope, it does not, not that. Like, I mean, everything in ignition coil, like for being such a new engine, like compartment, like as, as I see the engine, I'm not, I'm not a specialist, right? But it looks fairly nice. And, uh, and those ignition coils... Can't I just dismantle this guy? Exit boss from the engine bay. What, what the crap am I then? If I'm not in the engine bay. Okay, that is an engine bay. Let's remove those coils. Be just because. I think they look a little bit beat up. Not a professional, but man, they look beat up. Okay, we found. That is, the, that is four faulty parts. I think at least. So what I'm going to do now here, I'm going to just lift it up a little bit. I'm going to check the under, under, underneath the car. As you say it, and we're gonna see if there's something else which is just visible through the through the eye. As a mechanic would do. Why do people kick their, their tires? There is something I've always wonder. Usually when I change my tires, I always kick it for reasons unknown. It's like dung dung. Eh, nope. I can't really see anything here. That looks pretty nice. That looks pretty nice. I don't have an ODB scanner, which is going to be terrible. You know what? When we, was, when we were tr test driving this car, something was not feeling right with the suspension on it, now was it? But it doesn't look like it... Uh, hmm. Do we have a flashlight? I don't think we do. Okay, I can't really see anything here. Might be something on the inside, I hardly doubt it. Let's just lift it down. Can it be stuff on the inside in, in this game? Okay, we can't really open the doors, so can we? <laughs> Please don't, because that's a pillar in the way. Hmm. Hmm. What would a professional do? What is a case? Do you open the case? Yes, please. What is in the case? This is like the best case opening set type of deal. This is like Counter Strike Go. Boom, boom, and boom. Yeah. No knife though, but <laughs> but okay. So exhaust man manifold, lower suspension arm, and a brake shoe. I mean, can, could not ask for more. Man, that is quite neat. How they have like? <laughs> I'm sorry. I can just see those videos coming. Car mechanic simulator 2018 case opening. It's like we got 100 cases to open today. Wonder if there's videos like that. That would be quite brilliant. Any else? Let me just check this toolbox. Can we un upgrade any? Can we unlock any upgrades? 50% uh, faster examination rate. Please do. Um, did we unlock that? I think we did. And we don't have enough. Okay, faster screwing and unscrewing. Don't care about the screwing and unscrewing, but examine mode is going to be very vital for this case. I can't really see anything else with like just the just the eye. And I'm and I'm kind of thinking like, <laughs> don't open the door. I'm thinking like, 
the ODB scanner, is that something I've got on me? Because I can't really see, like... It's not an inventory part. So there's got to be some type of little machine somewhere about. And I'm not sure this workshop has it. Is that something we buy from the computer, maybe? Body shop? Main shop? Uh, let's search for ODB, and then it's not older the bastard. Rest in peace, by the way. Oh, rest in peace. ODB. ODB. Nope. There's nothing we can buy, I guess. So where the crap would that be? ODB scanners. Maybe this workshop doesn't have an ODB scanner. Maybe it's... Let me see here. Do I have an ODB scanner? Interior assembly mode, move car, overview, part notes, inventory, and car status. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do this. We're going to jump into the engine bay like a professional would do. And we're going to see it again. Examine mode. Examine tools. I do have an ODB scanner, but it's unlocked. It's locked, I think. There it is. I'm um, not really sure how much that costs, but we don't really have it. So we can't examine those parts without having the, the ODB scanner. And it's not unlocked for us yet. So this might be Mission Impossible. I guess we can just do the oil and send it away. No, we can't. We, let's just be a good guy, all right? We will figure this out. It might help if I just read what it says, all right? And it says something like this. I read it in a newspaper that the timing components should be replaced more frequently than the recommended by the manufacturer. Same goes for oil. Yada yada yada. So the timing components, it should be here. And the problem is, I can't remove that. Why can't? Do I need to remove the engine? Okay, Kiraz, this is a terrible, terrible bad idea. <laughs> it's just gonna dismantle the whole car for this poor guy. Camshafts. We got some cam gears. Let's examine stuff, okay? Let's examine stuff. Examine mode. Camshafts. Faulty. Good job, Kiralis. Camshaft faulty. The spark plugs were okay, right? So we did find those. Can I just amount that? How do I amount that? Okay. That goes into that. So that means I need to amount this copper now. It is not possible. Don't tell me I need to... Okay. Um, let's just go out here a little bit. Like this. Go back. Not into the suspension. But uh, the engine bay. Please, the engine bay. There we go. So what does does that mean? Do I need to remove the whole shablang over here just to get to the... Where does it connect? It connects here, like a professional. I am seeing that just with my eye, okay? One screw over here. That is two screws. <laughs> Slowly and painfully. You know what? This is quite intriguing. Can I examine stuff like the rollers? Is that a thing which could be like faulty? I guess it could be, right? But let's not. Steering servo pumps. Remove it. Can I remove it? No, this guy as well. There we go. This is more advanced than I thought when we started playing this game, okay? This is actually pretty darn amazing. And the cam gear. Can I examine that? Because that looks beat up as hell. We needed four more parts, I think. That is beat up. That is beat up. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best mechanic ever. So that means remove this guy. We can't. Let's remove the timing belt to begin with. Uh, can I just zoom in on this operation? Remove this. Remove that. Remove this. And remove that. Done it. Let's see. Bam, bam, bam. We done it. Fantastic. All right. So um, what was it? Sorry, I'm the best. I'm still the best. Camshaft, camshaft, cam gear, cam gear, ignition coil. So let's get to it. We need to order new parts because I still haven't found like, like a repair type of deal. So let's go here. Suspension engine. Let's go. Uh, let's go all. Is cam gear found in this category? It should be right. Cam gears. Ooh, we got different ones. Interesting. Which cam gear exactly is this one? It's by that company. That company and that company. All right, we've got it. It is that company. Can't fail on that company. It is that company just here. So buy two of those. Perfect. And then uh, the coils. Can I just do coils? Ignition coil B or A. Terrible disaster. I think I've got everything great besides the camshafts. For some reason, I just ordered the V6 ones. And uh, that is not going to cut it. Uh, cam camshaft it is those guys man i thought i clicked them 
it is deceiving with the company, right? So let's get two of those. <laughs> Man, I'm just wasting money. But I'm, st I'm still pretty pretty good at this uh, repairing type of, type of situation, all right? So let's get that back in. It's going to be this one, please do. Let's get this back in. Uh, it is this one, please do. Then we need to get the cam gears. You know what? It's not only playing a game. You actually learn stuff in this game, which is, uh, for me, quite intriguing. Engine cover. Bam. Bam. <laughs> Bada beam. This is so much better than train mechanic. It is so many parts. Different, small, tiny bits and pieces. And then we got the ignition coils. So let's get the new one in. That goes in. We got the, this guy over here. That guy goes in. A lot of guys involved in this business. But uh, it is definitely working out for us. Did we miss anything? Hopefully, let me just see here. I think this should be all connected. Maybe some belts. Let me just check my inventory. The best case is, did we miss anything? Nope. We, we do have the camshafts. We have that faulty. We just won those. Like the best case opening ever. And we do have the faulty ignition coils. Check, check, check it, check, check, check. Bam. Brrrp, and now it's just the oil. And this, is, ladies and gentlemen, is where we fail. Tremendously. Okay, we're already failing on this, okay? Here and place it. Move equipment to car lifter A. So, hmm. It should just be this little, like, bloppy thing. Bloppy thing. Uh, that is how good we are. Like, this little... Oh, maybe I just need to zoom in more. Let's just see here. No. It... No. Don't do it, Charles. So how the hell? Because previously I opened the whole thing, right? But what I think, it is just this little screw dealio. <sighs> okay, I, just, I don't dare. The oil pan. I mean, the oil can't be coming from anything else besides this. This is usually... I've seen it on TV, on Discovery. And this is what you do. You open this little pimp and it just... Bloop, goes down into the oil thingy. But... Uh, hmm. Click. No click. Alright, let's just think the situation. Are we missing anything? This guy here... Does it say anything? Do we need to move equipment? Use equipment? Ew. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's convenient. So that should be it. Move it back. I kind of thought you had to do it like manually, but I guess not. Place the equipment back. Thank you. And bring her down. Pop the hood. I'm going to refill some extra oil in it. That is how we do it, right? Bam. And that goes off. And uh, don't want to barbecue the engine. But there is no measurement thing. Would, maybe what we could do is actually go in here and get the stick up. The deep stick. Looks good to me. Looks pretty brilliant, alright? So we're pretty much done. Close it. And uh, let's see. Change, change. No, they need more oil. Apparently, for reasons unknown. So open it up again. Okay, I'm gonna barbecue engine, I guess. Okay, stop it. Like, you don't need more oil than that. Well, it's not fully filled, but... Uh, I mean, that is on the verge of B-Max. Please be okay. Done it, everybody. It is pretty much perfect. I'm gonna get it. Can I just... I think I can just go here. Right? Finish order. So, total pay was 2,205 bucks. I did waste a little bit on the components and whatnot. But finish order. And there she goes. Is that like the third car we repair? Fourth, I think. There are more, no more jobs right now. Why do people hate me? Because I'm just going to be standing here waiting for a phone call, I guess. Or even better. Let's just see this. When does the junkyard open up? The car saloon. Test, test track, off-road track. Car auctions. That is not open up. Racetrack is open up. Let's go to the car saloon. What is, what is exciting about that? Can we buy cars here? I hear stuff. I don't see anything, right? That is pretty cool. What do I do here? Can I can I can I steal stuff? <laughs> Just in case we need. Pop the hood. Can I go dismantle mode in the in the car saloon? 
Nope, pretty much no. Buy car. Overview mode. Okay, so we can buy cars here. Um, that car did not really pique my interest. Like an Audi. That is... Crap, I should know this. This seems so familiar to something. Like American car. Like a mu Mustang, maybe? I don't know. Maybe, maybe mus Mustang. This is like a... BMW, I guess. And this... There's gotta be something Japanese. Asian. Chinese. It's Chinese. I'm sure of it. Let's just get into the front seat. Not bad, not bad. Does it work? Nope, it doesn't work. This is so sweet, however. Wonder if the cars change here or not, because... Nothing really piques my interest in here. Oh, we can choose different cars and whatnot. <laughs> but how much is that? Okay. This seems a little bit shady up here. I would not buy a car from those guys whatsoever. Can you go into the bathroom? No. <laughs> not that it matters, alright. This is a, a car mechanic game. But it, this is this is quite neat. Let me just sit in this guy. Just to try it out. Pop it. Feels good. Terrible color choice, though. Terrible co color choice. But not bad. It's very important. You know, I got two kids in real life. So let's just pop the trunk. Nope. That is not the family car. Oh, there's more cars. Didn't see that guy. Is this a family car? Nope. That wouldn't cut it to Legoland. And back home again. I just heard the phone. Let me just see here. We do have this guy. Holy crap, it's amazing. So let's just see here. What is wrong with that? Brake problems. Man, I don't want to take it, but look at it. Take it. Well, it looked better in the picture, right? Can we sit in people's cars? Oop. I guess now. <laughs> Best mechanic ever. Not bad. Holy. By the way, can we start them inside of the shop but, uh, somehow? Let's see here. Is there any engine possibilities? Is there anything we can click? I don't think we can. Alright, can, can we please... <laughs> le, le, please. Can we please replace this guy's door somehow? Um, let me see here. Assembly mode. Door <laughs> goes back in. There we go. Be on the serious side. This guy had brake problems, right? So let's just move this guy. Uh, first of all, just let's check here. So brake disc ventilated, brake shoe, and a drum wheel cylinder. We need to get those guys. No problem whatsoever. Can we just see this with my professional mechanical eye? I don't think we can. Okay, I'm thinking right front. That's gotta be it, right? So let's just uh, remove this. And we're gonna see if this is the case. Is it the front wheel? Front right? Ooh, found it. That has got to be the faulty part, right? Let's see here. Pretty much is lit up in red. There was the brake disc. Why can't I remember stuff? I you know what it is? I'm getting old. That that is the that is the issue with this whole thing. Let's see here. What was it? The brake disc ventilated brake shoe and a drum wheel cylinder. So it is not in here. So the brake drum on the back looks. Pretty intact. Let me just examine it just in case. Nope, that is not an issue whatsoever. So it's gotta be the left back brake drum. Let's see. It's gonna take a while. I'm gonna dismantle the whole car, but we're gonna find a solution to this problem, alright? That is how we're gonna operate it. And if you like super professional mechanic watching this, I'm I'm from the bottom of my heart. I'm sorry, right? I'm I'm doing my best here. But that looks that looks pretty intact as well, now doesn't it? Let me just see your examine mode. Well, it's yellow, so I guess it's gotta be this one. So let's just take it off. Zip. And there we have the brake shoes. It's gotta be those guys. I mean, they look really unhealthy. Not that I've seen any healthy brake shoes. Can't be examined by carrying out a test drive. Ooh, now comes the tricky part. Should we just risk it? Um... I've not really seen any brake shoes before, so I'm not a little bit unsure if that is the case or not. And we can't... Man, we should have taken out this guy for test drive. Can I just dismantle them anyhow? Brake shoes? 
just to compare it, let me just check this side. Let's just get down on it. Don't really want to do that, I guess. And let's just remove this. Okay, we found it. This is gonna be the side. And the drum wheel cylinder. I mean, that looks really messed up. So I'm just gonna remove it because that has gotta be it. Yeah, all right. The goldfish memory comes into the computer and we're gonna see here. Uh, it's not the rims, all tires. Nope, all, well, all parts, I guess, right? So let's see here. Uh, drum. Drum wheel cylinder. There's only one. So let's just buy this guy. Then a brake shoe. One of those, please do. And the brake disc ventilated. Brake disc ventilated. It's gotta be this one over here. We got all the parts we need, so let's just fix her up. And I kind of want to test this, I go for the test drive on this guy. But uh, I'm not sure. We will see, right? We will see. So, mount part. Brake disc ventilated goes in. That is fixed. Brake pads, replace those back, not faulty, and the brake calipers. Uh, zoom, zoom, uh, yes please. And one, and two, and oh yeah, I forgot about the wheels. And uh, are we done? Bam, 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 yes, brake problems, list provided, finish order. But before we do, do we have any more jobs in common? Oh yes, we do. Uh, we have, oh man, look at this, stuff is happening, uh, Mazda RX, okay, it ends in two minutes, dude, I'm so sorry, I would take you for a test drive, but uh, there's a Mazda coming in here, uh, so, no, 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 there we go, and finish orders, 218 bucks, what, it's not even, cars incomplete, what, uh, say what, let me just see, what, there's a front left door <laughs> window missing from the car. Oh man, front left window? Who who did that? Who did that? How did I dismantle the window? Assembly mode. There we go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It is what it is, alright? <laughs> kind, of, kind of funny. Alright. Get it out of here. I don't wanna see it. There's a left side mirror missing. Did I take that as well? What the crap? <laughs> well, nothing goes by by this guy. We can't even steal it. Finish order, please do. And off she goes. All right, let's just go to the phone quickly. Uh, man, this just came in. But let's go with the uh, Mazda over here. What do we have? Brake system is fixing. What? No. Just did one of those. Oh, no. Yeah, it is this one. This one has, hey, I'm Roadmaster1234. This is kind of like the best YouTube channel name ever. That's what they call me on the internet. I'm a master behind the steering wheel in games. Now I got a real machine and I show those disbelievers what I can do on the real road. So please do something with those rims because they're slow, <laughs> slowing me down. Oh, and I think I kind of want to go with the Mazda, but I mean, brake problems again. That's kind of a little bit boring. What is this? This is that guy. <laughs> well, that's an ugly little car. Sloppy stuff car steering i kind of want to take the sloppy no you know what let's take the gamer just because he's pretty amazing <laughs> let's accept this guy <laughs> what the crap is this oh man yeah that is oh look at the rims holy crap dude what you want i can fix rims the parts not discovered well Honestly, I can see the parts. The rim's not looking that good. Oh, it's gonna be one of those again. Guessing games, right? But first is first. What we need to do with this guy, just to be on the safe side, let's go to the test track. And let's go to the off-road test track. Um, or abandoned airport. Can I test the car there? Yeah! 130. 40. 50. Fourth gear. 60. 70. 180. We should be turning. Okay. You did not see that. It was just a scratch. So, dude, okay. We need to get you up on the move car. Car lift A, because obviously I don't have anything else here. And we're going to check your rims. Uh, not looking that good, buddy. But we will fix them. We're totally going to fix them. And how many parts were not discovered? No phone calls, just the parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Roadmaster, one, two, three, four. We will fix it. Let's see. 
Not even a scratch on the front, everybody. Well, <laughs> there are some scratches, but not from me. Not from me. I'm wondering if we could just exchange the, the rims for like something like totally different. I don't know. First is first. Can we even test the, the rims? I don't think we can without taking it off. All right, so let's just unmount part. First rim is here. It looks pretty darn bad. And uh, the things behind don't really look that good either. Examine mode, brake disc ventilated. This one is on yellow. So I guess it's not bad. Brake calipers, brake pads on this side. Everything's a little bit yellow. Let me just see here. Besides that, did we find any other card? Nope, just the rim. And once we're here, examine mode on those parts. They're gonna be pretty much yellow, beaten up, but it's not super faulty. And I mean, the only thing he said was about the brake discs, right? Let me just see here. Uh, please do. There. Classic Rim 06, Classic Rim 06, and Classic Rim 06. And there's still like one, two, three, four, five parts undiscovered. Pop the hood. That oh, looks good to me. Looks good to me. And the, the thing in the description only says it's the rims, right? Oh, and I think something's not right with the engine. It's making strange banging noises. Oh boy. And so it begins. Winter is coming, Jon Snow. The banging noises. Where would the banging noises come from? Let's just inspect this a little bit. Banging noises, I would suspect. The engine. Here it is. That belt tensioner is not looking good. That's gonna be one of those problems. We have the uh, idler roller A over here, which we need to disassemble. Okay, we start with this belt A. Let's get the crankshaft pulley, this knob. Belt B. There we go, and now get this guy. Well, that was a little bit unnecessary, I guess, but that's gotta be one of the parts. So we got that to disassemble. Is there anything else here? Let me just check, just to be on the safe side. So, serpentine belt A, B, those rollers, and there's one more part, and just in this. I'm getting good at this. Well, not that brilliant, but, but better, at least. Man, I can't find the last part. Holy crap, it's driving me nuts. So, we found everything besides this. It's making a strange banging noise. What else could it be? It's not something with the wheels, all right, or the, the, the brakes and whatnot. The air intake... Could it be the radiator? Let's just see here. Could it be something here? Um, that would be just great. If that would be the case, examine mode, well, that's not gonna be the case. Let me just see here. Just in case, because there's a little fan in there, right? You gotta be kidding me. Radiator fan, housing fan. Roadmaster, one, two, three, four. I hate you. So what do we need? We need uh, the rims, right? So first is first. Tire changer and separate parts. Please do. There we go. Yes. So Rim Classics 06. So guess what we could do? That is so awesome, by the way. I just, just love that part. We can start ordering some rims. Because, you know, my goldfish memory is not going to last me forever. So first is first. Rims. What's the classic ones? 06. We would need... What is ET, by the way? ET, phone home. Let me just see here. Does it say an ET on this? ET0, ET0, ET0. All right, we got it. It's 17. Let's just get four of those. Uh, 17 and ET0. 720 bucks. <laughs> we got them. The part which I love the most is this wheel changing machine. I think that is so brilliantly made. Uh, can I just get this and this take? What would happen if I just go and install a new rim on this? Uh, please do, yeah. I mean, how beautiful is that made? I guess it's just pleasing for the eye now, isn't it? Please take this tire changer, separate parts, and get uh, boop, this one. Bam, bada beam, yes, please. So what else do we need? We need a lot of stuff. We need... Um, I should just sell stuff. A case! Everybody, brace yourselves. A new case opening is about to happen. No knife, but quality plus three. That's kind of good. The sway bar. A. 
Oh man, I love that. <laughs> I have no idea. I guess that is just in case we're gonna build our own car. Or maybe just use the parts for people's cars so we save some money. I am not sure how that is supposed to work, but uh, it's quite neat. Serpentine belt A and B. Start with that. Uh, is this completed? Yes, it is. Let's just take this. Separate parts and get this guy. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. A screw. That was not faulty, so let's replace that back. The water pump. I was checking, checking for absolutely for everything, all right? I also did remove the throttle for reasons unknown, so let's replace that back. And now we just get some belts. Get this guy in. Get the belt tensioner in. Uh, this is the A belt, I think, I believe. Yep. Get that in. Newly fresh. And that should be about it, I think. Let's just see here. Bam, bada, beam, bada, boom. And the radio fan housing. So let's just jump from this side, I guess. Cooling. Install mode. It is intriguing, okay? Hands down. Uh oh. Did we buy the housing? Is the fan is. Man, I'm an idiot. Okay. Stuff happened, okay? Now we got the fresh parts for this guy. He's gonna be super happy. And I think the tires are done. So let's hear. Uh, tire changer, take it. Place the new ones. So we got new rims. Not fresh tires, however. Roadmaster, don't worry. You're gonna be on the roads very shortly. We just need to balance your tires, alright? And everything should be fine. Let's take this, get the new one in. Balance, please do. Yes, sir. -y. Balance that. And let's just get back and start kinda getting uh, his tires in. Part install, start that B. Take this one. Brrr, bam. Checklist. Ding, 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 ding. Everything is just fixed. Total payout 1526. Even though we bought some unnecessary stuff. I think this is not bad. Finish it. And let's just see here. What is exciting for the next one? In case we do more episodes. I would pick maybe... Maybe this guy. Poor, no, poor brake performance. Replace all filters. Quite interesting, okay? Put new engine in oil and filter. It's kind of cool. General running gear control and repair. This might be it. This might be it. And this one was change engine oil and filter. Kind of boring. General running gear. Control and repair. Might be that one. We don't know. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say goodbyes here. Thank you so much for watching, okay? For, from here on, if we decide to continue, okay, it can only get better. It can't get worse. Maybe it can. I just don't know. But I'm kinda having a blast. So thank you so so much for watching. I'm Kiralis, and I'm gonna see you maybe in the next one. Over and out. Bye bye.